Thank you. Pleasure to be here. Uh, my name is Lee Tsai. I'm the director of CREST, a professor of education and psychology at UCLA. Uh, I'm a statistician by training. I work mostly on educational data, but I'm not here to talk about any of that. So what we're here for is to propose the idea of starting something that is a nonprofit located somewhere in Westwood, in this neighborhood, licensing intellectual property for product development to serve educators and students. A little bit about me, a little bit about CREST, uh, which is a center uh, for research on evaluation standards and student testing. We have been around for about 55 years on this campus, and we do a large variety of work, uh, mostly around educational assessment and evaluation, but also occasionally into educational uh, technology. ALPA 21, this is the key focus of the program here. This is a CREST program. Uh, creating innovative English language proficiency assessments for kids in all K-12. Um, and these are programs that have been so far funded primarily with state contracts. ALPA 21 was developed originally as part of the Race to the Top program under the Obama administration. And uh, we have been serving these eight states in, uh, since four years ago uh, through a set of inter intergovernmental agreements and the current revenue model is based on state paying student fees. And we directly serve uh, somewhere around 400,000 kids per year in all of the K-12 schools in those eight states. But we would like to expand to other states. And this is urgent because we believe, those of us who work in education, um, that they deserve these services as part of their basic civil right. Uh, without the English language proficiency that will not be able to benefit from ELA or math or science or social studies instruction. And this is a fast growing subpopulation that deserve attention. Some of them also are coming from very, very disadvantaged backgrounds. By 2030, we predict that there will be a quarter of K-12 students who will be initially classified as English learners. And right now, 75% of all classrooms, these are not the total number, but all classrooms, has at least one EL student. Then the problem is that uh, how do we help the teachers uh, handle this issue? How, how do we help the students? Um, CRESS and ELPA 21, we have developed over the last 50 years, ELPA 21 more recently, over the last five to 10 years, products that uh, we have researched to show that work. And we have large, easily accessible markets through our relations with the states, with the local districts, and we have a very strong reputation in this area. But our impact is limited because CREST is, after all, a R&D center. And an R&D center really should not be doing any of the marketing. So our hope is that we could develop a licensing agreement with UCLA through the Faculty Innovations Fellows Program that supports the broader sales of CREST Alpha 21 products via sub-licensing or direct sales, and then sales from the product created uh, the, from these licensed IP would help us uh, to help the teachers, ultimately helping the students, and then that would generate income, which then could be fed back to UCLA to improve R&D. So this project, uh, we anticipate, uh, will start with the creation of this 501c3 not-for-profit somewhere in Los Angeles, and then we have a number of products that we can already directly um, license, including the item pool itself, the assessment program, all of the instructional materials that we have developed, and standards-based products, that is, uh, how do we know students uh, have language proficiency? These are codified into standards, and we have products um, on all aspects of the standards. We would study this uh, immediate and concrete case just to give you an idea, because. Ultimately, unlike some of the, um, the for-profit um, startups that I have had the fortune of uh, interacting with over the last several years, for this, we're not really asking for a whole lot of money because most of this is already self-sustaining. Um, for example, these English language proficiency standards, um, how to implement them in classrooms, you just need something that's very, very basic, very, very cost-effective tools um, but with that, with the sheer number of schools, we would be able to easily achieve um, uh, revenue mutual status by the end of the first year. 
and uh, we would then be able to expand and uh, reinvest. So again, the competitive advantages of us is that there's currently an underserved market, um, and this market deserves service in any number of ways. Uh, we have easily convertible users because they already know who we are, and we've been doing this for many, many years. And we have a team of great thinkers um, at Crest and Alpha 21. So again, to recap, we hope to develop a licensing agreement with UCLA to allow us to market these products that we believe are beneficial uh, and that would allow us to help the students so that ultimately this creates additional revenue stream for Crest, for UCLA, to reinvest into developing the further products. Thank you very much.